Well, welcome back, folks. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more of an audience participation video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you're no doubt aware that I've been working through the restoration of a 1966 Yamaha Y01. And as I'm working my way towards the taillight assembly, preparing to install it, and I was looking over the wiring, I ran into a little bit of a situation. That's where I thought perhaps some of my viewers could help. If any of you have a reasonably intact YL1 and you could either get me a photo of the tail light assembly and the wiring or describe in the comments uh, your uh, wiring and how it's installed, I would certainly appreciate it because otherwise I'm going to have to come up with a solution on my own, but I thought first I'd run it past my viewers and see if some of you could help. So let's go over to the bike and we'll take a little closer view of the situation I have and how you may be able to help. Here's a taillight bracket that mounts on the fender back over here, something like this, using rubber grommets. And I'm still sorting out the rubber grommets. That's really not what this is about per se, the rubber grommets, but this does, does mount like that. And here is the NOS taillight fixture itself. You can see I've put a new bulb in it. And this goes through something like this and will ultimately bolt together like that with some, uh, I think there's some acorn nuts that go on the back here. I'll get to that later. The issue or the situation I have is this is all rubber mounted. And what I mean by that is the back of this bracket right here has a rubber pad on it as you can see. And then the taillight bracket itself has four rubber grommets that are used to insulate or isolate the bracket from the fender. Yamaha, in order to uh, address the current flow for the wiring, added a ground wire right here. You can see this, this black, the shorter of the three wires. That's a ground or earth wire. The wiring harness for the motorcycle does not have an earth wire. The blue and the yellow here are for the uh, tail lamp, the blue, and then the yellow is for the brake lamp. These two wires, the green and the brown, are for the turn indicators, which are not used on this bike. So those are not even in consideration. The situation I have, since this is electrically isolated from the current flow, clearly that's why Yamaha provided this grounding wire right here. The issue is, where do I attach it to the bike? Now, I'm going to go over in a minute and I'll show you on the parts diagram that Yamaha does call out a ground strap, and I even have a picture of one that I found on eBay, to call out a ground strap that uh, attaches here, plugs into here, it's got a female connector, with a spade ring connector on the other side that's supposed to attach somewhere to the bike. That's the issue, is where do you attach that ground strap? Because there's nowhere underneath here that I can find that clearly allows one to get a good ground or earth. The wire that Yamaha calls on their parts diagram does not look long enough to go back further up into the frame. And again, I'll show you that in just a moment. So what my ask here is, if any of you have a reasonably intact YL1, particularly the wiring around the taillight assembly, could either share with me uh, verbally, uh, send me some comments, drop some comments, or even better yet, some photos. You could connect with me and figure out how to transfer the photos. But any information any users out there might have that would help me understand how this ground earth wire is to connect because this project when I got it and I think you're probably aware that by now was all buggered up here in the wiring and had been hacked so there was really not much left of the original wiring for me to use as a guide and even this original ground strap was missing so I don't know where this is supposed to connect one if, because I can make a ground strap that's pretty easy to do I can make one but I don't know where to connect it to up underneath there because there's no other bolt holes there's grommets that go into these holes I believe these are intended, on, there's a set on each side, 
I believe these were intended originally for turn indicators to mount. I, I couldn't swear to that, but that's my suspicion. But these call for rubber grommets too. So that's the ask I have. That's the help I could use from some of you if you have a, a YL1. Let's go over to the computer a second and I'll show you the parts diagram and we'll talk about the ground strap that I found. On Here's a view of the online parts diagram for the YL1 that happens to be uh, Partzilla. Number 39 right here is the item in question. There's also uh, part number 40 and 41. And if you look over here, all three of these, 39, 40, and 41 right here, are connectors of some kind of wire leads. And 39, which is the one I'm concerned about, is the wire earth lead and then 40 and 41 are also two wires, uh, uh, splicing wires, I think, essentially, or extensions. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe 40 and 41 are probably used for the turn indicators, which, again, are not part of this conversation because this bike doesn't have them. But 39, right here, is specifically called out as that wire earth lead, and they are these three items are no longer available from Yamaha. And these are really those wire extensions that I... I'm looking for, or what I'm curious about, number 30. I found one of the earth ground wires on eBay. This is the correct part number right here. And you can see it doesn't appear to be very long based on the scaling of the female plug and the spade ring spade connector there. It doesn't appear to be very, a very long part. So that suggests to me that it, it doesn't go very far away from the taillight assembly to connect to an earth ground. That would be part of the frame on the bike. Now you see my problem. If any of my viewers out there have uh, information that might be helpful to me, feel free to drop me comments. And photos would be great, but even a description of what goes on under there is better than what I have today. I certainly would appreciate any uh, information uh, the viewers might be able to provide. Looking forward to hearing from you, and as usual, thanks for watching.